Hey designers, Lindsay here. Today I'm going to share a new product with you that I'm trying out called Ice Spring Suite. This is a pretty nifty way to create online courses quickly and easily with no coding. So if you're an instructional designer looking to beef up your portfolio or someone looking to get some training out the door quickly, this is probably the product for you. So let's check out a demo that I made with this. It's a little meta. It's about creating an instructional design portfolio. I've got portfolios on my mind here. Uh, Ice Spring Suite's pretty neat because it's actually PowerPoint based. So it's all the features of PowerPoint plus the addition of interactivity and a full content library to help you build courses. So here, for example, I use the urban city theme. It created beautiful slides really quickly. I was able to create screen recordings from within the Ice Spring Suite directly. You can edit them. I'll show you that in just a minute. There is a content library with characters like this one here that I named Mariah. I made this really neat role play with her where you can ask questions, choose your response. This one's pretty simple, but you can do a full on branching scenario again with no coding whatsoever. And there's a full range of interactives in here as well. I tried using the step-by-step -step feature. I also tried the tab feature for organizing content here. Uh, another screen recording, you can see that I put my little image in here in the corner, which is pretty cool. And finally, no e-learning course is complete without a final quiz. So again, I've got this sort of storytelling frame with Mariah here, helping her build her portfolio. And that's how I framed that final quiz there as well. This is only a 10 slide demo course I created. It was really easy to make. Let me show you the software here. All right. I'm on a Mac, so if you're using this for the first time, you do have to run Windows on your Mac. I'm using Parallels. It's really stable. I've had a lot of luck using Windows only software in Parallels, and I did have to put PowerPoint into my uh, Windows version as well. So if you're a Mac user, keep that in mind. So when you first open this, you're going to say, hey, this is this is PowerPoint. And you'll see right up here, there's the iSpring Suite 11 tab. And this, this is where all the magic happens. So otherwise, if you know PowerPoint, that's it. You're good to go. You add slides here on the left like normal. But what's really cool is you can go into iSpring Suite tab here and you can choose slide templates. I'm using the trial version of iSpring Suite so you're not able to see the full gamut of slides in action. But with the urban theme here at the top, you can see that they have quite a variety of slide templates and they all have that similar look and feel. So you don't have to do any design work yourself, which is really nice. You can just dive in and get designing with this product. Got my objective slide. Again, screen recordings, really easy to make from inside of this software. When you want to edit it, you can pop back in by clicking screen recording. And what I found really great is that it's basically a fully featured video editor from within the Ice Spring Suite software. You can check out your video screen recording here. Let's find a more flattering <laughs> still frame there. No such thing in the video. Uh, you can separate the audio and video and you can make edits to both. So if you don't like the end of the video, you want to trim that off, you can. If you made a mistake in the middle, you can trim out the middle of the video. Um, my volume was a little bit quiet, so I separated the, the audio here and I adjusted the volume to be 200%. It's basically, it's everything you need to do video edits and it's nothing complicated or overly confusing. I got to show you the role play. I really love the role play. This was super easy to use and this is my favorite feature in the iSpring Suite software. Uh, you can click on role play to go back into edit. And if you've ever wanted to do like a simulation in a software, but you didn't have the right software to do it or it's too complicated to set up, or if you do had to set the triggers and variables and it's just giving you too much grief, iSpring Suite makes it really easy. This really is my favorite feature in the software. You create a starting scene and you can choose the character. Again, this comes from the content library. They have a full content library full with all of these characters here. You can choose the one you want to use and you can choose how you want them to be feeling. How cool is this? 
So once you've got your initial scene set up, you can start creating additional new scenes. It's really easy, just click new scene. You can type whatever you want there. If you already want to set up with a character that you want to use, you can just right click that and duplicate, and that'll keep um, the same format there. Uh, you can see that uh, once you have one of these set up, you can really easily link it to the next scenes. If you grab that and just start going with it, all the arrows are really clear. And of course you can test it out in uh, Ice Spring Suite to make sure everything is working correctly. So that was really a really neat feature that's very well done in this software. Um, I got some more static content slides, but I do want to show you uh, the interaction slides. So if you want to add an interaction slide, it's really easy. Just add a blank slide, pop over the Ice Spring Suite tab here, click that interaction button, wait for a minute, select new interaction, and look at all these interactions they have. They're process interactions, catalog interactions, annotations, and hierarchies and they do have demos as well so the first time you add an interaction in ice spring it's going to add a placeholder interaction for you so you can see how it is built out uh, these interactions they're ready to go you just have to choose whichever one you want there's already going to be a blank interaction here for you and you can just start typing add your headlines add your content there it is, and you're gonna save return that to, to the course, and it's gonna be set up for you to go. You don't have to do anything else. The interaction is just going to work. All right, so I showed you screencasts. Those are super easy. I showed you interactions. The content library is really cool. I really recommend diving in and using all the characters that you'll find in there. There is, of course, um, quiz options as well. I can show you what I've got here. Just like everything else, the quiz was really easy to build out. There's a variety of content types, of quiz question types, I should say. And you can add in uh, the character, my Mariah character, I added her in here as well. So this is really cool. So there's a form view, and there is also a slide view. So you can see visually how the slides are going to look but it is easiest if you wanna add in new quiz questions to do it in this form mode here. Again, it's not overly complicated. You have all the things you need to create the question. You don't have anything else that's going to be really distracting. I also really liked that all the slide options for each question are just already right here, nice and tidy on the right-hand side. So I can choose all those options when I'm creating the question. I don't have to go back and do it later on. Again, it's a very clean layout and I thought it was really easy to interact with. If you wanna add a new question, you can just choose something here, fill in the blank sequence, Likert scales, if you want to do a survey, everything here is really easy to add. And you already have um, placeholder text when you add the question and you just change it to whatever your content is and you can edit your feedback here as well. Um, publishing was easy too. Again, this is PowerPoint, so you're not just going to do a, you're not going to do a save as in PowerPoint. It's not going to be interactive, but you can uh, really quickly publish for your computer. If you're just going to do this on as a something on the web, they don't need to track. If you want to track it, of course, you need to publish it for an LMS. You can choose which version of SCORM um, or Experience API you want to use here. That's really easy. Bottom line here is that this is a very easy software to get started right away building online courses. If you're a new instructional designer, if you're experienced and you just need something really fast, I would definitely recommend this. I could see this being used for um, converting existing PowerPoint slides from like an in-person training to online. This would be a quick and easy way to take your existing content, add some interactives, publish it so someone can be using it as computer-based training. That would be a great thing to use this for. Uh, it'd be good for sales training, particularly with the role play options that are built in. Um, you know, best practice if you're thinking about doing that, write out your role play questions and answers in advance and maybe a Word document so you have that set up before you start building it out in here. But it was super easy to build out the word the role play. I thought it was really fun. And um, um, if you like what you see, I do have some coupon codes for you. Check those out in the show notes for both Ice Spring Suite and the Ice Spring max suite if you have any questions put them in the comments i thought this was a really fun software to use and um i hope you check it out as well and let me know what you think